Hello guys, in this example, we're going to be demoing how to interact with um, objects that have identical property. Uh, so in this example, as you can see, I have two buttons here and both of these buttons are identical. Um, if I inspect them, you'll actually see that the button has property, button class, this and all uh, text equal to button as well even their immediate parents are also um, identical so let's just inspect the second one as well and you can see both of them are exactly the same so in this case what we need to do is look up the parent meaning who do they have as a parent that is unique uh, so in this case it could be parent id2 or uh, h4 as a tag and text equal to uh, this as well so let's see how our AI would handle this and imagine for a second that I want to interact with the second button so let's go ahead and create our first test cases test case create edit click by parents I'll hit submit to create the new test case once I have my test case created, I will now go to the step step and add my steps. Okay, once I've added my steps to go to the web page, I'm simply going to copy the link from my web application that I want to visit. So I will now go ahead and add my actions, add actions and select the web filter and then go to web page I'll go ahead and add this action and replace the URL with my URL and save the action and click the snap view now I'll go ahead and add the second steps to click uh, parent Just type in and hit enter. Now I'll go ahead and try to add the action. So once I click on the parents, I can see all my action list here. I have nothing. So I'll go ahead and add my new actions. I could click this or I could apply the filter first and then click on this item here. Click an item. Okay. So now I'll go ahead and add action by AI. Before I do that, I need to collect the AI information. So let's go ahead and switch our tab and I'll activate our, our Chrome plugin and I'm going to click on this button right here. So once I click on the button, it will now send the information to our AI server and it will do all the analysis of the properties and so on. As you can see, it has picked up right away the parent as ID equal to parent2 and the text is the element uh, button is the button text equal to button so if I now inspect this one more time just to give you guys an idea um, as you can see this has the property text equal to button and the parent it didn't take this one but I guess it has um, it didn't like it so much but it preferred this one so that's it's unique or well, actually this is not the parent this is in the same level as this so it wouldn't have worked uh, so it automatically selected the right parent ID here so ID equal to parent. As you can see on the left hand side, it's highlighting the entire object uh, and that includes both this entry and this entry as well. So when I'm highlighting this entry, you can see that it's not highlighting the button as well. All right. So now I will simply select the object that my AI selected and hit the add action. And that's pretty much it. As you can see now, our Zeus AI automatically picked up the parent object as well as the button that I'm trying to interact with. Okay, we are now going to save the action, remove the sequential actions, the default step we don't need, and now we are ready to execute this test case.